an SI is to really be a support uh, for not only the uh, professor, but also for the students. To not only be an in-class support system, but also outside of classroom hours, wherein students who are struggling or perhaps just want to bounce ideas off of you and just get advice and further support and encouragement. I really think that that is what the role encompasses. As an SI leader, my role is to make sure that students feel comfortable, motivated, and have goals for the future in their careers. I try to inspire them to do math and to actually engage in learning and not just doing math to do math. An SI is like the professor's shadow almost, like you're, 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 you're an extension of the professor, but just from a different perspective. I feel like we're mainly here for motivation and to really like give other students that nudge and kind of realistic person to help them through what they're struggling in in class or even to just be a moral support to kind of like cheer them up. The SI have to be um, ready to have and to motivate students to get involved in the math world and they also have to be a good example for students and they have to be a model for, for the student too. So when you're in the class, try to take notes, engage if, in, in, in lecture, if you have to engage in a lecture, meaning sometimes the professor will make groups, so that's your opportunity to engage with the students and build a relationship so that they're comfortable, they trust you. And sometimes it's not even about the math. They just may have a problem at home, a problem in school, and you're there to guide them through this journey in their education. The role of an SI to me is to um, make the experience for other students as comfortable as possible and make it so that they know that if someone like me could go through the class, they could do it too.